on a submarine is probably one of the craziest, scariest jobs you could possibly imagine. But how do you actually get qualified to work on a $2 billion submarine? So the Navy is going to show us how they get these sailors qualified. Let me know down below in the comments if you would ever in your entire life work on a submarine. I would not. So let's go ahead and send it. But before we start today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Gunspot. Gunspot is an amazing company that helps buyers get great deals and never pay out-of-state sales tax or any hidden fees like other auction sites. So huge thank you to today's sponsor, Gunspot. Take a deep breath. These Navy sailors are training for a worst case scenario, how to escape from a submarine. Immediate pause. I really don't think anybody is escaping from a submarine. Doesn't that just like... Blow the f up, put a pump, done. And let me know down below in the comments if you really think you're gonna escape a submarine. No. All the way left, all the way right. This is and pretty the cool. Danger that comes with I don't think it. I'd ever want to work on a submarine. Though. I'm not going on a submarine. It's the same shit as being in a fing airplane. You're either a metal tin can under the ocean or thousands of feet in the air. Either way, you're gonna die. Actually, see a real fire. A real fire. And oh, go shit. through a real submarine escape. I love that. So that way, the first time that they ever might have to deal with it isn't in an actual casualty. They've done it before. You do the real life experiences before it actually happens. So you don't actually panic and freak out when it does happen. It's hard to believe a year ago I was sitting in an apartment doing. All right, chat. Let me hear him in the comments. A year ago, he's in an apartment chilling, doing what? Let me know in the comments. Jack squat. Enlisted sailors who qualify for submarine duty make $85 more per month. Whoa, chill f Jeff Bezos. God damn, 85 more a month. That sounds like a really bad f enlistment bonus. We'll give you a $5,000 enlistment bonus if you sign for 10 years in the army. $5,000? Wow, that's $500 extra a year. God, I really hope I did the math right on that. The Navy says recruiting new submariners today is challenging, and it offers a yeah, signing bonus of up to $40,000 for volunteers. But not all sailors uh, qualify to work on them. a sub. They what do you need to do? You have a high enough score. Uh, ASVAB being you gotta just be smart, kind though. of a That's why I'll never be on a submarine. I feel like everybody on a submarine has like so much value, and they're, they got to be intelligent and shit. Bro, I'd be in there. I'd be forgetting shit. We will die. Volunteers for submarine duty go through a mental health screening, and according to the Navy, no, that's up. You gotta be crazy. Diagnosed with depression or anxiety disorders. So you can't do it if you have depression and anxiety. Literally every single person in the military. But you wanna know how the doctors do it? They go, hey, are you depressed or do you have an anxiety? You're just chilling there. No, I hate my life. And they go, oh, okay, you said no. The fuck primarily trained to work on next generation Virginia class submarines. Whoa. This is what it's, it's like so inside tiny. one. The sub is powered by a nuclear reactor and loaded with explosive torpedoes. And How many torpedoes are on a submarine though? Dude, that's why the Navy, the Navy, bro, the whole fucking submarine nut to butt, dude. You're basically twerking and grinding on each other the whole time. Trying to get to your bunk, you're like, hey, uh, excuse me. And your buddy like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, for sure. Go, don't mind me. If you f on a submarine, I feel like everybody know you f Students confront the lethal risks. Of In order to work on submarine, you must have either glasses or receding hairlines. It's only a matter of time till my sh I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go to Turkey and get hair plants. F it. But God, what is this, bro? This is like five strands of hair just dangling, bro. He trying to get the bangs going. He like, all right, guys, I'm gonna teach you about submarine stuff. Just don't. This is me. Don't look at my hairline. We're not gonna talk about it, all right? Students train inside what's known as the damage control wet trainer, which simulates flooding in the Stop. engine room. Stop. I need to know what the f this is. Rope? Rope stops the water from coming out. Makes sense. Students learn how to use the tools that can repair the rupture. What is this f***ing rope sh I'm sure they're about to tell us. I'm just impatient. Some of the tools that we expect our students to use, uh, one of them is called a strong back. It's essentially just a curved piece of metal with okay. a piece of rubber on it. That rubber is going to be oh, what so actually seals creates it. the seal around the rupture and prevents the water from getting through. Big brain. I can't even remember the name of it. Strong back. Everybody in that f***ing room that's going to be on the submarine with this dude. Hey, yeah, we're all smart. We all know what we're doing. We all know our gerbs. And then he's doing this interview and he's like, f I can't remember the thing that saves the ship from the flooding. Uh, f uh, what the f*** is the thing that would save all of our lives? Called Everyone's like, <laughs> you f***ing forgot? Marlin is just a hemp fiber. It's infused this. with tar. As it gets wet, it becomes sticky. And then that helps you clog up the rupture as you wrap it around the pipe. Are we f***ing in the stone age? This is caveman sh**. It's a f***ing 
stick and rope. We gotta have better shit than this, bro. We can't have like a fucking patch that doesn't, and you can't just be like, done. Some of the issues Ooh, we recreate in our damage outside. control wet trainer Sheep. are a uh, simulation of loss of lighting. They are then going to use battle lanterns to help them see. Let me tell you exactly how Navy is gonna stop this leak right here, bro. It's coming out of this, right? It's coming out the mic. All the water, okay? Water, subar. Okay, watch this. Oh my God, it's leaking. I saved us. But it would cost. My heart's racing. It feels incredible. <laughs> That's the f***ing comment. They're gonna be like, oh my God, you just saved the whole ship with your booty. The water was squirting in your booty. It must have been so scary. The submarine was going down. He's like, nope. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> While submarines are powered by nuclear reactors. Bro, they, they worried about sh breaking and pipes busting and sh but they just gonna punch through some fucking ice. Look at how thick this motherfucking shit is. Like that thick. They're like, we just gonna go through this shit. Also carry nuclear weapons and explosive torpedoes. All 118 sailors aboard the Kursk died immediately oh, died. after the accident. This story is actually sad as f They actually made a movie on this. It's called the Kursk, I think. You guys should watch it. It's pretty fucking good. The entire crew of the Russian submarine Kursk perished after one yeah. of its torpedoes exploded, causing it to flood and sink. That is scary as f That's why learning to control fires is paramount to survival on a submarine. So fires on board a submarine, I would say are fire fairly common. Fire on a submarine. <laughs> Whoa, did he just say fires on a submarine are fairly common? <laughs> common? Why are they common? I would say are fairly common. Most of the time it is something small. Maybe in a kitchen. The purpose of this training that students went through today is to ensure that it does not grow beyond that. It is about immediate fire response. That way we can teach the submariners that are going to the fleet to fight and run. So now we got, you're in a metal tin can, deep in the ocean. Three, F I forgot. I feel like there's something else. Let's just say it's the fires. You got consistent fires now. No, for everybody that's in the Navy right now, if you know any crazy stories or you're like a submarine dude and you've had fire on the submarine, please, please, please share the comment. If y'all give me a fire story, I'll pin it to the top, but please let me know. I'm so curious to see how you didn't die. That's what the fuck I'm honestly curious to hear. Like how, how? Why is shaped like that? In the event of a catastrophe, after all damage control solutions have failed, the only remaining option is escape. Okay? Escape. Okay. Worst case scenario is their sub is disabled on the bottom of the ocean. Ain't they no way everybody can know. Because they are now out of food, water, all rations, and they're quickly running out of air. If I get stuck on the bottom of the fucking ocean, we're leaving immediately. I'm not waiting down there eating food, sleeping. I'll be like, where the hatch at? We going up. Students train in the PSET, which stands for Pressurized Submarine Escape Trainer, where okay, they learn how high. to escape the submarine uh -huh. and ascend to the surface. Oh, the this is what we've been waiting for. 37 feet deep, 20 feet Got wide, it. and holds 84,000 gallons of water. Students enter two it's pressurized chambers attached to the tank. First at okay. 15 feet, then at 37 Ooh. feet. Damn. Students must first pass a test inside a hyperbaric chamber that simulates the pressure oh. felt at a That's depth terrible. of 60 feet. Bro, Everyone's your ears going to be like... are suited to go under. All right, so right now the water's going to be coming up through the deck right start. Don't worry yeah. about it. Students are now ready oh, for the dude, first this stage of the preset, entering the chamber 15 feet below the surface. An instructor opens a hatch that leads into the tank. That is hardcore. The students are pushed into the tank by another instructor before ascending to the surface. The 15 foot is essential. Good sh Navy. This is shit I like to see, bro. This, uh, this is hot training. This is hot. I love this a lot. Friends and family gather to see the newest class of U.S. Navy submariners officially become part of the silent service. The I silent the service? Mother. That's what it's called? Their dicks just went. Ah. Okay, goodbye. Okay,